Hi, I'm Krista Namdal and welcome back to my studio. In this video, I'm going to show you some tips and tricks on how to make one of the projects from my newest knitting book, Layers. In this video, we're going to talk about one of the patterns from Layers Knit, and that is the Skyla Beaded Headband. Headbands are a great small project for learning a new technique. This textured stitch pattern takes a minute to learn, but a lifetime to enjoy. I love to accessorize with headbands the way I accessorize with jewelry, a pop of contemporary color to your outfit. Adding beads to the self ties adds weight that helps keep the ties in place. Make this for yourself or a gift for someone of any age. Follow the links in the video description to download the pattern order an autographed copy of my newest knitting book layers, and get information on how to order the yarn and other materials we'll be using in this project. When you take a look at your pattern, it will tell you how much yarn you'll need, what type of needles you'll need, and what type of other accessories you'll need. We've made the Skyla beaded headband in Be So Fine Bling yarn, which is 90% bamboo and 10% pure silver plied together. And to, in order to get your headband to make, be the right size, you will want to do a gauge swatch and make sure that your gauge matches the gauge in the pattern. The stitches that we will be using for this project are knit, purl, yarn over, knit two together, knit five together, knit forward back, cast on, bind off, and a special stitch of purl three together, yarn over, purl three together. I'll show you how to do this stitch, and if any of the other stitches are unfamiliar to you, please check out my playlist of videos in my knit stitch library, where you can see slow motion and close up videos of each of those stitches individually. In the pattern, it mentions that you can use double point need needles and uh, circular needles or straight needles. And there's, a, there's two reasons for this. In the headband, we do an I cord at the beginning and the end. To do the I cord, you either need to use double pointed needles or circular needles. Straight needles will not work when you're turning the work or when you're twisting the stitches to do the I cord you have to go be able to go from one end to the other and that only works with circulars or double pointed needles. When you get to the body of the pattern, this is where you would have an option of either doing this on straight needles or circular needles. And if your double point needles are long enough, you could also do this on those as well. The only thing to point out that's really important is that you could do double points or circulars here. You could do double points or circulars here, but you can only do straight needles on the body of the pattern. So let's start, and I wanna show you how we do our increases to begin our I-cord. And so I'm gonna take a ball of Be So Fine Bling yarn. Here it is with the bamboo and the silver plied together. Very sparkly and beautiful. And we're gonna start with a slip knot and insert that slip knot onto our needle. And now we're going to increase this stitch from one stitch to five stitches in the first row by knitting and purling multiple times into the same stitch. So with the yarn in back, knit, move the yarn to the front and purl. Move the yarn to the back and knit. Move the yarn to the front and purl. And move the yarn to the back and knit one more time. So now we've made five stitches from one and we can take that stitch from the left hand needle off and tighten it up. Now, instead of turning our work like we would in traditional rows, we're going to slide the stitches to the opposite end of our needle to begin our I cord. And we will knit all five stitches. Make sure you use your working yarn and not your tail. It's a common mistake that can be made at the beginning of a project. It just means you'll have to unravel and start all over. Don't want to do that. Okay, so we knit all five stitches. And as I'm starting an I cord, I like to pull down on the work. It helps to get the I cord started. And we slide the stitches to the opposite end of the needle. And knit all five stitches.
you want to continue repeating this row until your I cord is nine inches long or however long you want the ties to be on your headband. Doing a reduced size sample for the headband. So I just wanted to show you what the I cord will look like when you're making the headband. You'll want to make it quite a bit longer and follow the pattern. But at this point in my sample, I want to show you how we start the next section, which is doing the increases to go from the I cord working in the round to go to working back and forth in rows and increasing to get the stitch count and the width that we'll need for the stitch pattern for the headband itself. So the next section is to do some increases and we're going to start by knitting into the front and back of the first stitch. So knit into the front and the back of the first stitch, then knit across to the last stitch and then knit front and back into the last stitch. So knit into the front and the back. So now we've gone from five stitches to seven and instead of sliding the stitches to the under, other end of the work, we're now going to turn it and work back and forth in rows. And we're going to repeat that row, that same row, knit into the front and back of the first stitch, knit across to the last stitch, and knit into the front and back of the last stitch. And you want to repeat this row until you have a total of 25 stitches on your needle. All right, so let's look at row two. Row two is a right side row. So these three blank squares are going to be knit three. Then we're going over the next three stitches. We're going to do purl three together, yarn over, purl three together, over all three of them. Then knit one, purl three together, yarn over, purl three together, yarn over, I'm sorry, knit one, knit one, purl three together, yarn over, purl three together over the next three stitches, and knit two. Now let me show you what that looks like with the yarn. So row two, begins with knit three, then we're going to purl three together, yarn over, purl three together. So we move the yarn to the front. We're going to insert our needle into the next three stitches, purl all three together, yarn to the back for yarn over, and then purl three together again and slide all three stitches off your needle. And we now have three stitches replacing the three stitches. Next is to knit one, and then we'll do that purl three together, yarn over, purl three together, over three stitches again. So yarn to the front, purl three, yarn over, purl three, and slide it off the needle. Then knit one, purl three together, yarn over, purl three together again. Knit one. And we're going to repeat this across the row. and knit the last two stitches. On our wrong side row, we are going to knit all the stitches, just knit straight across. Okay, our next pattern row, also a right side row, starts with a knit three, purl one, knit one, purl three together, yarn over, purl three together, over the next three stitches, knit one, purl three together, yarn over, purl three together over the next three stitches, purl one, and knit three. So let's repeat that on our yarn now. So we're going to start with a knit three. Yarn, uh, purl one. Knit one. 
and then over the next three stitches we'll work purl three together yarn over purl three together knit one over the next three stitches work purl three together yarn over and purl three together knit one and we'll repeat this all the way across the row so those are the four rows that we that we repeat for the stitch pattern then similar to how we increased at the beginning here of the stitch pattern you're going to repeat those four rows for the entire headband then decrease at the beginning and end of each row to get back down to our original five stitches and then work the same sized I cord as we did in the beginning of the project and fasten off. These beads are simply strung onto the I cord and alternated with a knot. So I did a knot, slid a bead on, did a knot, slid a bead on, did a knot, and it actually ends up looking like two different types of beads alternated because the knot ends up being the same size as the bead. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions at all, please leave them for me in the comments. There's links in the video description on how to download the pattern or order an autographed copy of my newest knitting book layers and the yarn and everything else that we talked about in this project, as well as links to entire playlists for all sorts of different videos here on my YouTube channel. Let us make time to create, share, and inspire today and every day. I'll see you in the next video.